So I'm getting this error when attempting to launch a virtual machine on uh, VMware Workstation 16. Um, it's this error right here. Now I'm going to go through some steps here to fix this issue. Um, to start with, uh, click on Start and then go to Services. And you want to go ahead and run this as Administrator in case you have to make any changes. Okay. Now we're going to go down to HV Host Service, so where all the uh, hypervisor, Hyper-V Windows stuff is found. And we're just going to make sure all of these are disabled, including HV Host Service. Anything Hyper-V, you want to make sure that it's disabled in the services menu here. Okay. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and close out. Beyond that, we're also we're going to be doing several troubleshooting steps here. We're going to go to PowerShell. I'm going to run this as administrator. Okay, and in PowerShell, we're going to run BCD edit set hypervisor launch type off okay now we can go ahead and close this out one other thing we're going to want to do is disable device guard so go ahead and click on the start menu we're going to go gpedit.msc run this as administrator okay We're going to expand this open a little bit. So the path we're going to take is computer, local computer policy. Let's see here. Okay, so you're going to go to computer configuration, admin templates, system. Then you're going to go down to device guard right here. Okay. Double click on virtualization based security. And we're going to make sure this is disabled. We'll hit OK. All right, and that's it. We'll close this out. One last thing we're going to do is disable memory integrity. Um, easy way to do this is just to type in core isolation and run this as. Well, I guess you can't run it as admin. Just make sure this is disabled memory integrity. Because this can also cause that error. Anyway, from here, we may still be getting the error, but we're going to go ahead and restart the computer so all of these changes uh, take effect. Okay, so at this point, I've restarted the computer and I've launched VMware. And at this point, you might get along just fine without any error but I'm actually getting an error here so to continue troubleshooting this uh, we're gonna remove the existing VM right and we're going to open a virtual machine since we're gonna open uh, the VM through the OVA file and we're gonna name it GNS3 VM now one thing about this, you might get an error if you try to import this because the directory already exists. So what you can do is copy this, go to that directory, and then just delete it. And then restart VMware. Okay, now from here we're gonna go ahead and open a virtual machine open the OVA file for the GNS3 VM. We'll name it GNS3 VM. And we're just going to keep everything the same so that way there's no issues with the, the GNS3 client. We're just going to keep it all the same. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let it import. Might take a second.
Okay, now at this point we're going to go ahead and launch it, and we'll notice that it is starting up without that original error. So we've resolved that issue. One potential issue we might run across um, is if our GNS3 VM is running an older version, which we can see here. Right now we're running 2.2.36. Uh, one thing with uh, the GNS3 setup, the client and the VM need to be on the same version. So if I start up the GNS3 client and go to help and about, I can see that we're actually running 2.2.37. So to fix this, what we're going to do is go to the VM. We're going to hit OK, and we're just going to go down to upgrade, hit upgrade. We're going to say no on the snapshot since we have the backup OVA file. I'm not worried about that. And we're just going to hit upgrade. Yes, we're going to get 2.2.37. And that will take a few minutes, but that will upgrade it to the, the proper. Okay, now it looks like it's rebooting, and this will give us the moment of truth to make sure we've upgraded successfully, and we are now running 2.2.37, which is good. Uh, we're going to make extra sure that matches up. Check about 2.2.37. Okay, so we're looking good. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and power off the VM, close out VMware, and we're just going to launch GNS3, the client, on its own. And I guess I didn't shut it down properly, so let's go to, well, it looks like it's down, uh, at least I don't see it here. Okay, let's try it one more time. There it goes. Okay, now we'll just let it launch up normally. I guess I had to give it a second to shut down before uh, relaunching it. And assuming everything goes well, we have it set up properly, it should automatically launch VMware and uh, start up the server. I'm going to cancel on this for now. Whoops. Nope. Yep. Looks like it's starting. It's being launched through the client. All right. Looks good. Running the proper version. We'll go cancel this. And we'll give it a second to see if it turns green on us. And there it goes. It just takes a second. So, yep. There we go. Uh, so at this point, we fixed the issue, so we're looking good. We can go ahead and... create projects and things. And One downside to this whole error, if you had previously had a setup, is you have to re-import all of your, your iOS images, but that's the one downside to this whole error and issue if you've reinstalled Windows or done any uh, type of changes. But... In any case, the issue, uh, the error is fixed.